Okay, folks, so that's the basic setup of that lampshade. And what I did there as well as uh, this part of the circle, radius 30, that's radius 30, that circle. So I had a 30 and 30, swung an arc from here, where it cuts here and here, gives you the two points to put down your compass when you set it to radius 30 to get that arc there and that arc there. Okay, now after this, folks, uh, what we've been asked to do in that question is asked to draw a figure similar to the table lamp having an overall height of 110 millimeters. So quite similar to the last question. Just come out here, give yourself a bit of room, not too far away. I'll draw a line there, 110 millimeters high. Next, we're going to put in, what's like a measuring pole here. And what we're going to do again, similar to the last question, we'll run all our heights out to this, our key points. And what we're going to do now is we're going to run a line from here through the top there, down till you hit the XY line. This will give us a point P. And we'll run the rest of the height lines down to there as well now. Now, so we see it there starting off at 45 degrees. It's going to be a horizontal line here. So put in a light construction line there. And that is the top of the lampshade. Now this guy here is on a horizontal line. So we we'll put a horizontal line in there. All of these, if you think about it, that's parallel to that. So this guy here is going to be parallel to the smaller version we create over on the left hand side. You can set up that there. Slide it over a bit. So he is parallel to this guy here. And then if we want the other side, we can slide it parallel, parallel as well, or because it's symmetrical, we can just mark it off there. And now we have the base. We also have here uh, the radius, so the radius is going to reduce as well. Now I do know the center of the circle will be here. So we can set our compass to here and we can go now and we can draw in the base or the circle there, the partial circle, bringing it up to the base. Now, we do know uh, when we were finding this over here, it was twice the distance before. So if I was to pick a point here and I'm gonna make two of these marks and that'll get me twice the distance now, okay? So I can put my compass on the center of the circle here, swing off to the right there, that'll give me B, we'll call it. Swing off to the left, that'll get me A. And now if I set back my compass to my original reduced radius, I can swing from A now. and B. That'll give me those two little arcs there. And I can just finish out the lampshade like so. So, uh, sometimes in these questions, folks, there's different ways about going around solving them, but that's that lampshade reduced to a height of 110 as asked in the question. So I hope you found that useful, folks. That's the end of that topic. We'll start a new topic next week. So take care and stay safe.